Hi everyone, if you're here, I'm pretty sure that you can decide which version of Visual Composer to choose. So, what I'll do here is show you where each version shines. I think we should start things off by saying that the free version of Visual Composer is absolutely enough to create a simple but beautiful WordPress site. An unlimited number of sites, actually. Our drag and drop editor allows creating all sorts of layouts. In fact, we have a video where we do just that. So if you want to check it out, we'll leave a link down below. So in short, about free versus premium. A powerful front-end editor, the same intuitive controls, only premium takes it to the next level with a complete website building experience. While you can create a layout with the free version, you can't go further than the content area defined by your WordPress theme. But if you want to create your own custom headers, footers, sidebars, pop-ups, 404 pages, maintenance page, archive pages, and everything else beyond the content area, that's where the premium version shines bright. The premium version of Visual Composer is a full website builder. So you'll be able to make every little detail just how you want it. If we go back to the editor itself, you build your pages using content elements. Basic stuff here, simply add a button here, a picture there, and you have a great start to a layout. Or make it even easier on yourself and choose one of our free templates. But sometimes it's just not enough and that's where I want to introduce the Visual Composer Hub. That's our cloud marketplace. With the free version, your access to the hub is limited to 30 content elements and 10 templates, while Visual Composer Premium gives you full access to the hub. So you get a bunch of extra content elements, more than 200 to be exact, over 100 premium templates and template blocks like pricing tables, menus, contact blocks, basically little blocks of different sections for websites. There are also add-ons. You even have access to the whole Unsplash library, as well as the whole Giphy library. And it doesn't stop there. We add new templates, template blocks, and elements constantly. One of the best things about Visual Composer is that you can customize every single element. And one way of doing that is by using the design options. Every element has them, but as the premium version has more elements, obviously that means more customization options. The onion controls, as we call them actually, don't have a significant difference between free and premium versions, but with premium, you get more styling options more parallax effects, for example. One of them being the mouse follow parallax, which looks pretty cool if I can say so myself. There's a feature I want to mention that is absolutely free, that is the Visual Composer Insights. It's a content analysis tool that every single page can benefit from. We can all sometimes forget to check our image sizes, maybe skip some links. But Insights point out all these things and you can just quickly adjust them right there in the editor. And by doing that, you can easily improve the performance of your site. And obviously, it's a big help for SEO too. With a few clicks, your page is suddenly super fast and on the first page of Google. Visual Composer is way more than just an editor, so I have to mention the add-ons that are available for the premium version. You can easily import and export any content from one site to a different one. You can output custom field data on your page with the dynamic content option. With the global templates add-on, you can create one layout and make it update everywhere else too. You can create your own pop-ups and did you know that an exit intent pop-up can get as much as a 33% conversion rate? Anyway, a website is more than just the design. So with the Visual Composer Premium add-ons, you can truly make your website perform better and just make your life easier with efficient tools. 
I think it goes without saying that no matter which version you choose, you'll get regular updates from us. But, and yes, there is a but, premium version also gives access to our premium support that ensures help whenever you need it. That's been quite a lot of information, so let me just quickly summarize it here. The free version of Visual Composer allows creating and editing the content part of the website. That is defined by a theme. While with Premium, you can build a whole website, including headers, footers, 404 pages, and stuff like that. You get the basic content elements and templates in the free version, but Premium gives you full access to the Visual Composer Hub that contains extra elements, templates, add-ons, stock images, and a Git library. Every element in Visual Composer is customizable with the help of design options, but the premium version gives you extra parallax effects. While the power of the free version ends at the content, the premium goes far beyond it. The add-ons include the option to import and export content across sites, make your site dynamic, create pop-ups, save elements, enable maintenance mode, and so much more. These have been the main differences between the free and premium versions of Visual Composer. If you're interested to see the full and very detailed feature comparison, there will be a link in the description. And of course, visit visualcomposer.com to get your hands on the free or premium version of Visual Composer. Thank you all for watching and enjoy.